Framed by rugged green mountains, savage wild woodland and vast lakes, Bosnia and Herzegovina is a country rebuilding itself, brick by brick. But that rebuilding is contrasted here at the Potocari Memorial Centre. Row after row, each white pillar marks the final resting place of another husband, another father, another son of Srebrenica. There are thousands of them, each a reminder of the largest act of genocide in Europe since the Second World War. This is where the Muslims of Srebrenica fled to, previously a battery factory. In 1995, it was a United Nations base where they should have been safe. But when the compound was overrun, men and teenage boys were rounded up by Bosnian Serb forces, placed on buses and taken to nearby hillsides to be shot and killed with their hands tied behind their backs. The group also met the mothers of Srebrenica. These bereaved women are the ones left behind by the massacre, and even now, many of them have been unable to give a proper burial to their loved ones because they're either yet to be identified or in, so far, undiscovered mass graves. Inam Khan is the Code of Ethics and Force Diversity Manager at Northamptonshire Police, as well as being the East Midlands Chair of the UK Charitable Initiative Remembering Srebrenica, and, as he explains, this is still an incomplete memorial. Uh, as you can see by the green uh, gravestones, uh, there are fresh graves. Um, there are going to be uh, further bodies that, that are going to be buried here. Uh, and also, it's a fairly close-knit community, um, so they're also feeling the, the pain and, and suffering um, of their neighbours. Uh, so it's a, it is a shared grief. Uh, we should be doing our, our utmost to help cohesion within our communities uh, and, and alive to some of the indicators that we've sort of seen uh, and, and felt here. 